Hello everyone, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Sarah Safirawi Baningrum from class 10 science 5 number 34. In this video, I will explain about the biographical recontext of Marta Christina Tiahahu. The title of the text is Heroine from Maluku. Marta Christina Tiahahu was born in Nusa Laut, Maluku, 4 January 1800. Marta Christina Tiahahu is a heroine from Maluku. Her father is Captain Paulus Tiahahu. Her father is a hero and a lieutenant from the land of Thomas Abubu, who is also assistant Captain Patimura in the war against the Dutch in 1817. Marta Christina, listed as a unique freedom fighter instead of a teenage daughter who directly engaged in the battle against the Dutch colonial army, among the fighter and the community up among the enemy, she was known as a brave girl and resolutely against the ideal of struggle. She also always inflamed the spirit among the women around her. Marta and her father, together with Captain Patimura, succeeded in attacking the Dutch troops on Saparua Island, Central Maluku Regency. However, in a fierce battle in the village of Au Olet, southeast of Saparua Island, the Maluku fighter lost due to an imbalance of strength. All fighters were arrested and sentenced. Because she was still too young, Marta was released but not with her father. Captain Paulus remained in custody and was sentenced to death. After being released, Marta wandered in the forest without direction, then had a negative impact on her condition. When there was a clean-up operation by the Dutch colonial army, Marta was caught and then taken and exiled to Java by the Dutch used the Everson ship to be forced to work on coffee plantation. Marta trip to Java Island using the Everson ship was marked by a rebellion against the Dutch. She went on a hunger strike until she fell ill. Her health continued to decline and she refused treatment. On 2nd January 1818, Marta was declared die at the age of 17 years on the Dutch ship Everson on the way to exile in Java. Marta Christina Tiahu body was buried with military honors in the Bandesi. I was impressed by her spirit and courage. At a very young age, she was not afraid to take up arms, take the place, and accompany her father against the enemy. She was not afraid to fight the enemy even though her life was at stake. Because of her enthusiasm and struggle, based on the decree of the President of the Republic of Indonesia No. 12, TK 1969, date 20 May 1969, Marta Christina Tiahu was recognized as a national hero of the Republic of Indonesia. In Maluku, a monument has also been erected for the brave girl and heroine from Maluku, Marta Christina Tiahu. Thus, the biographical recontext of Marta Christina Tiahu. Hopefully useful. See you in the next video. Bye.